workshop dog helping. Lucy the workshop dog. Okay, so today we're doing a little bit of machine work on a 964 3.6 litre crankcase. One of the things that we do as a modification is the holes that the barrels go into can be enlarged to take a thicker barrel when you put a 3.8 litre barrel and piston kit in. So there's a little o-ring, looks like this. It's called a quad ring. I don't know if you can see close up, but it's actually got four points. It's not a round o-ring. It's a, a ring that's got four edges on it. It's called a quad ring. Quad rings sit inside the crankcase like this. So we've got a machine a groove into the crankcase. This one has already had the spigot machined out. So the orifice, 109 millimetres, 109 millimetres. They're standard at 107. When you machine them out to 109 millimetres and you put the 3.8 barrel and piston kit into them, they rely on either silicon or RTV or a sealer to seal to the crankcase, or you put a quad ring in, which is the same as a 993RS. So all the 993RSs ran a quad ring in the crankcase rather than just running silicon or ATV. We've set up the crankcase in the mill. I've used a center finder to get all the centers of the bores accurately marked out. So I've recorded those, and then we're gonna use a boring head with a tool that I've machined up specifically for the cores, and that's going to be machining our quad ring groove. Just got the diamond hone here. I'm just giving the edge a little tidy up so it's nice and sharp. I've just zeroed the edge of the tool to the crankcase surface. One of the tricky things is with these crankcases, there's not a lot of room so the groove has to be just below the level that the washer would sit on for the through bolts. Um, you can't go any lower, you can't go any higher because you break into that area. And it's very close to where all the threads and things are. So if you look at the amount of thickness we've got in here, our quad ring is three and a half millimeters and that is 3.85. So if you look at the outside of the thread diameter, we've only got about 0.3 of a millimeter between the bottom of the quad ring and where the grooves would be for the threads. So it's all fairly precise. So you've got to make sure you've got everything lined up pretty well. Another thing to note is the problem that comes in over this side, if you bring the camera around here, there's often impurities, exclusions and holes in the castings. So we need to inspect the crankcase properly to make sure that we don't put any rings or any grooves where there are holes in the casting. So that's an inclusion from new. So when it was made, there's bubbles in the casting. I've actually got a solution even the factory 903 RSs, I've had them, where the ring itself, where it's been machined into the crankcase, has bubbles and exclusions in the case. So we clean it out, drill out those bits, put epoxy in. I've made a plastic ring that goes in there as a die, and then we've got a tapered plug that goes in, and you hammer the tapered plug in, pushes it out, and makes a really nice sealing surface for the quad ring again. It's not that common, but it happens. So this is a boring and facing head. Might look like I'm getting my fingers all nice and personal in here, but that's how it works. There's a dovetail in here, and one part of the head will move through away from the other part when you hold this collar. So it means that this actually moves inside the bore to cut our groove, which is quite tricky. So I'm going to set up the depth stop so we know how deep the groove is going to go. So I'm using a drill bit as a gauge. So we've got drill bits in accurate increments so we can use that as a gauge against the stop so we know how deep we can go. So we can see how much further we have to cut by the distance between the depth stop and the adjustable block. So there's a better view of what we're doing. It's a bit hard to see with the boring head in. Then we can show you that this O-ring, quad ring, gets installed into that groove. When the barrel comes in, that's what seals the barrel to the block. So I'm just going to install this and do a bit of a measurement to see where we're at. I haven't cut to the full depth yet. 
we'll get the get the dog involved. Okay, so that's where we've ended up. We've got a groove inside the crankcase for the quad ring, which will seal against the barrel. So it seals on the outside of the barrel. This is an old second-hand barrel I'm just using for measurement. The case can be now assembled with the new upgraded 3.8 litre kit. No oil leaks. Job done. What's happening, Luz? Woof, woof.